everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about dating. Um, the first thing you should know when it comes to dating is that the relationship you're having right now probably won't last. Um, I'm not trying to be a downer or anything. It's just the truth. Um, when it comes to dating, there's only two options in a relationship. You'll either, one, break up, or two, get married. And now, we're all generally my audience, I guess, mostly teenagers, um, probably high school or early college. Um, most teenage relationships do not work out. Um, over half of all teenage marriages end in divorce before age 24. Um, so that's not a very good statistic. Um, second thing to th when you um, when you realize that it won't last, there's something you need to realize is that you shouldn't compromise yourself for your dating relationship. That means if you're a girl who's currently dating a guy right now, don't compromise who you are for the relationship that won't last. For example, don't change the way you look, the way you dress. Um, don't change your values and morals for him. Don't change your hobbies and activities because you are who you are going to be for the rest of your life. You'll always have yourself, but you will not always have that person. And you don't want to end up with regrets that you did something you didn't want to do later. Um, also, if you realize going into a relationship that it won't last, you want to have unrealistic expectations. And when you finally do break up, you won't be as heartbroken as you would normally if you think, oh, well, we're supposed to be meant to be together forever. So, um, dating at this point in time as teenagers is not supposed to be about marriage. It's supposed to be about having fun. Dating is a useful tool um, to learn about yourself, what you like, and to learn about everyone else, learn about others. It's important to meet as many new people as you can, see how you get along with them. It's, um, it's good for... Like when you have a date, when you're in a dating relationship, it helps you realize the kinds of things you're going to need in your future husband or wife. Like if someone you're dating right now is really lazy and, you know, has a messy room and that really bothers you, you'll realize, well, I'm, now I know that I can't end up marrying someone like that because it'll never work. Um, for some people, they wouldn't care if they have a messy room. So it's all about, you know, your personal tastes and preferences. Um, there's this formula I like to use. It's not 100% accurate, it's just, you know, a guesstimate um, of how to figure out how many, to like to put in perspective how many people you'll end up dating before you get married. Now, I do not like math at all, so it's, it's amazing and a miracle right now that I'm actually giving a math example as an analogy. Um, so let's see, do I have a marker? Uh, don't go anywhere. Oh, I, sh I realized I should have done this before, but hold on. Ah, got one. Gladly they're right here. Okay, for the sake of argument's sake and statistical, you know, probability, most people get married around the age of 25. So let's take the age 25, that's typical marriage age. Then you minus the age you are now. I'm just going to use myself as an example. I am currently 19, so 25 minus 19 is 6. See, I don't like math. 6, right? Okay. Um, that's, let's call this your years left until you get married. Like the typical, I have 6 years till I'll be 25. So that's how many years left I have until I approximately get married. Um, then you take your years left and multiply it by the amount of crushes or boyfriends you've had in the past year. Now, I'm just going to give an arbitrary number for myself because I don't want to get too personal on a video that's all over the internet. So let's just say in the past year I've liked slash been in a relationship with two guys. Two. Okay, some people's numbers may be really high or really low, I don't know. It all depends on who you are. So six times two is 12. Yes, I can do that much math at least. So 12. Uh, so 12 is my magic number. Is that, okay. 
That means I'm probably going to date at least 12 more people until I find that one person that I'm going to marry eventually. This is not a perfect formula, but it's, you know, pretty accurate. So don't be like, oh, when I get to that 13th person, I know he's the one. It's not how it works. Okay, moving on. Um, with dating, uh, girls and guys approach it very differently. And just side note, if you're wondering what that is, it's that glowing bear I've had before in my other video. And I just, it was kind of dark, so I thought it would stand out, make a little ambiance. Anyway, <sighs> so girls and guys and dating. Um, I'm going to reveal some secrets, if you will. Um, when a girl likes a guy, uh, <laughs> okay, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's true. We get like these fairy tale dream images, like, like don't laugh, guys who are watching this, because it's true. Girls will like practice signing their name, like put their first name and the boy's last night last name. So it'd be like Miss Grace Johnson. Or whoever, if I liked a guy named Bob Johnson, Miss Grace Johnson, over and over and over again. I doodle it all over my notebook. I doodle it on a desk in the bathroom stall, just because it's just exciting. Oh my gosh, you know, we think about we think about a guy in terms of will he make a good husband? Will he make a good father? We think about baby names with each other. Oh, what will our babies look like? You know, you ask your friends, do we make a good couple? Do you think we're cute together? I know guys don't really understand this and they laugh it off, but it's it's true. Girls do that kind of thing. Um, for the most part, guys, you won't see them writing Mr. Bob Bondurant on his papers. Because, first of all, they keep their last name anyway. But, anyway. Um, yeah, they're more focused, guys are more focused on the right now, the present situation. They don't really think that it's going to last that long, because guys t typically aren't thinking about marriage. That's more of a girl obsession. Um, they know it's not going to really last. They're just in it for right now. And that doesn't mean that guys are jerks. It's just how they are. It's, it's just how they're made differently. Um, so, knowing that, I have a, a message to all men who are listening right now. All men, this is specifically for you. Please listen up. Um, I actually wrote this down on a piece of paper because it's that important, so if I'm reading this, don't think I'm a dork. Uh, I didn't want to mess it up. Okay, message to men. Because girls are so easily able to create a fantasy world in their minds of your lives together, don't lead her on. I have that bolded. It's very easy to lead a girl on. Do not lead her on to believe that you guys will have a fairy tale life together. Do not say things like, Oh honey, I love you so much. You know, we're gonna live together forever. I wanna be with you for all the rest of my life, you know. Don't be like, I've never met anyone like you before. I feel so different with you, babe. You know, girls take that and blow it up to mean, Oh my god, wedding bells! I have to go pick out my wedding dress right now, let's go. See, when guys say that, they might mean what they say. Like, when they say, I feel so different with you, they're not lying. It doesn't mean that they're just lying to get what they want. It's true, you do make them feel different, but what they don't clarify is that any hot girl that they like is going to make them feel different. That's why they like them. But it doesn't mean you're the one they want to spend the rest of their life with. So they mean it, but they don't necessarily mean it like that. Like, don't go out and pick out the nearest wedding dress. It's not that serious. Um, so guys, knowing that, that you can emotionally manipulate a girl and then build up her hopes and dreams unrealistically and then have it all ripped out and have her heartbroken, just be a man about it. Don't lead her on. You know, don't give her these unrealistic expectations and take charge of the rela relationship. Don't let it get blown out of proportion because then you're gonna have more drama that you wish you didn't have to deal with. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. You know, when, it, when you piss off a girl, you piss off all her friends and she may have a lot of them. So if we all, you know, kinda wake up and think about that, there'd be a lot of less heartbreak. And that is all for today. Peace.